Greetings fellow humans and welcome to another Feisty Friday with tea. This is actually Black Yorkshire tea because it's got bollocks and we're gonna be we're gonna be feisty. We might have some strong tea. As per usual with Feisty Fridays, I will give a couple of seconds so that you realize that adult language will be used. I will be cursing. Uh, I say this because I do write uh, middle grade uh, literature. I will be doing uh, children's literature, but that doesn't mean that I don't have an occasional uh, potty mouth, and I don't want to expand my horizons. And the thing is that it's Friday, so i got to let off some steam from behaving so much. So how about this? Five more seconds. That's, that's enough. Okay. Today's topic. Reading machismo. Being, you know, machismo is is a is a Spanish word. It comes from being so macho. And I've noticed that on BookTube there is a lot of reading machismo that you go like are you supposed to be welcoming and a nerd? A fellow nerd, a fellow geek. We're all united by books and whatnot. And it's wonderful. And this is a very welcoming community. But sometimes I, I do get concerned that people are really fucking warped in their priorities. Here's the thing. Catchphrase. Hashtag here's the thing. Let me get some tea. A lot of people focus on how many books they read, that they have to read all these books. But if you ask them, if they read something right now and in one year you ask them what they read about, they won't remember. And there's some people who are phenoms and can actually uh, read 200 books in a year and remember them. Uh, but this is not everyone. And it, it all becomes a fucking competition. It's like a, like a dick swinging competition of who has the biggest literary dick uh, reading is about enjoying yourself about relaxing about escaping about doing something for yourself on your own terms and that people take this and make it into a competition or or again such macho bullshit about reading it's, it's a bit confusing because you wouldn't associate um, being well read with being macho and I had to clarify and I took a pause there because I was going to say, say uh, being intellectual but intellectual people are you know are asshole that way they're like I'm so smart I'm smarter and I'm the smartest and uh, you know elitism in in any way is, is just ugh fucking disgusting I don't know man it's like it's like licking a pimp's boot it's bad it's not something you should do uh, it's something that happens and some people are that way fine it's not that I'm gonna judge you but I really don't have to enjoy your company uh, which brings me back to reading we read because we enjoy it we read because we want to see more stories uh, we feel bad that we don't read more because there are a lot of stuff that uh, um, there's a lot of stuff that we're missing out on. True. But the whole yeah, I read fifty books. What about you? What about you, huh? Your pussy. You read seven books. Mmm. I read seven books in a week. Your pussy. That's that bullshit that I really don't get. Um, you know, you should applaud that one that a person read a book in a year. You should you should applaud that and say, do more. You have twelve other months unless they read something massive, which could justify just reading one book in one year, which I don't think is the case ever. You know, you can read more. Um, and I always promote people to read, but I don't bash anyone for not meeting their quota. I don't know what a quota is when it comes to what you have to read in life. You just read stuff. You know? And the whole numbers game. Numbers numbers make everything so shitty. 
It's like, oh, my salary is this. Yeah, but are you happy? Oh, my, my, my house is worth this. Yes, but is it going to maintain its value? Are you happy? Are you in a good neighborhood? Or are you surrounded by assholes? I weigh this. Yeah, but how do you feel? How's your health? How do you look? Uh, which that, that deserves its own video and it deserves its own feisty fucking Friday video. So eventually I'll do that because I've, I've written about that on the blog, but I'm not going to go into that. This is about the whole macho bullshit when it comes to reading. People become macho about the dumbest shit. I think it's hilarious that geeks and nerds are macho about different things, but it is a reality. Um, male and female. And when I say macho, I, re you know, I, I refer to the whole, yeah, I am superior, and go like, what the fuck? Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, you're not, if you're doing this to impress someone, you're already doing it for the wrong fucking reasons. If you're doing it because you want to excel at something, uh, it's debatable. But if you do it because you enjoy it and you remember and you retain, that's awesome. Because a lot of people read a lot, but they don't remember much. So what's the fucking use? Watch a movie, because then you can watch it again, and it'll be shorter. Um, oh, no, but I'm a reader. Yeah, but you're not. You're just a voracious reader for the sake of being voracious. Not because you're loving the story or you're loving it. Anything. So, seriously. Take it down five notches. Don't be such an asshole. Don't be such a dick. If someone reads less than you... That's fine. If someone reads more than you, don't take it as a competition. Take it as a race. Life is often like a race in, in the sense that um, y when you're in a race, you have to focus on your path. Because if you look to the side, you're going to trip and you're going to make an ass out of yourself. The thing is that there's no medals. There's no podium. There's no first, second, third place or anything. There's no participation or ribbon. Uh, there's no... There's nothing. Or there shouldn't be nothing. There shouldn't be anything fucking double negatives uh what do you think do you think that 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 book two promotes people to read more but not read or not enjoy better uh it's something that i do wonder i do wonder if people are enjoying everything they're reading because then i see people stressing out and going like oh my god i didn't read my tr oh god and it's happened to me that I've made, I, I stopped doing TBRs because I'm a fucking joke when it comes to TBRs. TBRs and readathons do not go with me. I really wish they would. And book groups, I try, but no. Uh, it's just something I suck at. Uh, TBRs, it's like, I'm going to read these four books, and then I see three other books, and I'm going to read those three books, and eventually I read these four books. So I stopped doing it. But I've never been like, ah, oh, and when, when it comes to being an indie author... The word count. Oh my god. My book has 240,000 words. Who gives a fuck? Again, numbers aren't everything. You know, it's better to read 12 books in a year, have 12 great experiences, and remember those 12 books than reading 120. So, by all means, enjoy what you're reading, drop the macho bullshit, and until next time, peace, love, and Mikey Rolls.